Welcome back to Keto Homestead with Jess. Follow along with me as I walk the garden. Here is the squash patch. No squash yet, but the plants blew up like overnight. Here's the blackberries. They're coming on really nice, waiting for them to get right. Pretty good size, I think. Can't wait for them to be right. There's the blueberries. I'll be digging up some of this in the fall to make the horseradish sauce I like to use in my deviled eggs. There is some zucchini, elderberries. They're blooming. I need to get some flowers picked here soon too. Here are my mammoth sunflowers and garlic is planted at the bottom. The deer did get a hold of some of these, but they're coming back. Here is my strawberry patch. They're done right now and they will start producing it again in the fall. These are ever bearing strawberries. Here are my spaghetti squash. We really like spaghetti squash, so I planted quite a few. And over here is, I know I'm going to pronounce this wrong, so don't hold it against me. They are Jimicas. It's a root vegetable, and it's like a potato, but low carb. Here are canning grapes. I don't remember the name of these. These, these have been here since my husband's mom planted these years and years grapes ago. Grapes coming on. Oh my goodness. And what are them bugs called? The Japanese beetles are out. They're everywhere. I'm gonna have to get some soapy water and start picking them off. Here I have a cucamelon. And I'm not sure what melons these are. There's a couple other varieties of melons in here. Potted Thai bean. And it's got a couple of beans on there. I'm really excited about this. I've never grown this before, so this will be my first year. You can see the little bean there. And here we've got Kajari melons. I've only got four that came up, but I planted quite a few, but four is good with me as long as I get at least one Kajari melon. <laughs> and I've never grown it before either, so this will be my first year. I've heard really good reviews, so I'm excited for this one. And my garden. I've been trying to work on it little by little. It needs weeded. But my tomato plants are growing well. Let me get them tied up. We've got some corn. It also needs weeded. Turnips there. And then the far back row is kale and green beans. Nothing is fruiting or giving vegetables yet. We've got some peppers in here. They're a mix. There's jalapenos and bell peppers and hot peppers in there. But once the sun goes down a little bit, I'll be back out here tonight to weed towards, some. Towards this end, I've got the red cabbage there. I only had three of those come up. but And then we've got regular cabbage. Got a row of spinach here. The back row again is green beans. Here are some tomatillos. I've got three of those plants. They're blooming. They're doing really good. And this last row 
is broccoli. When I come out tonight to pull some more weeds, I need to sprinkle some more diatomaceous earth. They're getting ate up pretty bad. I've got my onions. Chives. Lettuce. I'm not doing so well. Only two plants came up out of two rows. Hey kitty. There's my barn cat. Here are my two rows of carrots. They're coming up pretty nice. I've got three rows of Swiss chard. No, four rows. Four rows of Swiss chard. This row was the row I was working on last night. Then we have my radishes. And another row of garlic. Here is my raspberry patch. And I did see a couple that turned red. Here they are. And I'm going to get to picking these. Here's my dog, Keela, and she loves berry picking with me. She comes out every season and berry picks with me. She will actually pick the berries off herself and eat them as well. All right, I picked the raspberries. Not very many, but enough for a little snack. Here's my wild black raspberries. I usually harvest these every year. My husband did cut them down last fall, so... They're not very big this year. There's not as many, which was to be expected. Well, I figured since I was down at the garden close to the spring, I'd bring you down here. We've got a tart cherry tree. It's been here since my husband's parents planted it years and years ago. It's pretty good size. Birds and the deer or whatever else got to it before I was able to harvest any cherries off of it this year. And I will show you our spring. Watch for any snakes. Here's our freshwater spring. Here is a good view. I'm up on the road. Hopefully nobody hits me. These people are crazy drivers out here. But I wanted to give you like an area of view. I wish I had a drone or something I could show you. Here's the garden. Like I said, we have a lot of wrecks every year. So we started to plant this, I don't know what it is, bamboo grass. Not only for protection, but for privacy. I mean, it's not a lot of protection, but it will help. The cars always come off the road. And there's a tree on the other side of this tree. It was taken out this spring. Somebody wrecked and hit it and flipped. And usually when they flip, it's right in my garden. So we're hoping that the bamboo will at least stop some of the damage. I know it won't be a lot, but at least if they flip over, the glass and stuff won't spread into the garden again. It's horrible. I think we have like at least three wrecks on our property every year. You can see there's a really sharp curve right there and they come as soon as they hit that curve it's like ND 500 come right past the house there's another curve oh look mama deer and babies they're so cute but yeah it's a dangerous road and they drive like crazy maniacs I hate coming up to get the mail people swerve towards you when you go to the mailbox and I just it's really dangerous thanks guys for following along on my garden tour stay tuned for more great garden tours and I will talk to you soon